So much impulse was spent on the road to San Juan during stage two of a 500 kilometers special, navigation mistakes, boiling heat and late finishes for some of the pilots, taking the start the morning after is quite unlikely. A hell of a day. However, two men played their cards right, Joan Barreda Bort and Nasser al -Atiyah. They both won the stage and became overall leaders of their categories, leaving their pursuers over five minutes adrift. A master stroke by a Dakar Rally rookie, the KTM rider Matthias Waltner, MX3 world champion, got the stage success today and his boss's congratulations. At 28 years old, the Austrian made his mark and entered the Dakar Stage Winners Club. In the cars category, Terra Nova has the home field advantage and along with El Atia, allows Mini to remain on the top of both stage and overall standings. On the San Juan Chilecito course, the Dakar caravan got a little respite. With 300 kilometers less than the day before, but still counting rocks and bumps, the course forced the riders to remain cautious and focused. The strongest men rode very close to one another all along. There were less than two minutes between the first and the sixth of the stage until checkpoint four. Joan Valerie Dabort, first to leave as the overall leader, saw Australian Sobi Price overtake him. In the end, the beginner clinched the fourth fastest time, one minute behind Barreda, who limited the damage. The speedy Spaniard lost ground on two rivals only, Mark Coma and Matthias Volkner, one of the rookies. The former MX3 world champion managed to rebound from yesterday's 12-minute delay from Barreda as he clinched the stage success and can now climb to the third place of the GC. I have to say, it's sure it's more hard when you open the piste, when you start in front. So I, I start at sixth position and I saw sometimes already lines. And this, of course, helped me. But but doesn't matter, I, I go really fast and, and uh, it's a pretty cool feeling. Last but not least, Mark Coma stood tall and narrowed his gap on Barreda by one minute. He also came back on the day's winner, Waltner, who now stands 10 minutes from Barreda. The San Juan Marathon severely impacted the race, 34 cars didn't start the third stage. The 100 remaining ones may have thought today would be relaxing in the Andes foothills, but the South American western-like landscapes were to be conquered by a local, Orlando Terranova thrashed the competition. After a third stage success on day one due to Alatia's penalty, the Argentine had at heart to shine in front of his supporters. Second, halfway through the race, the awful racing pilot attacked in the descent toward Chilecito. He finished the 284 kilometers of the special stage in less than three hours, and with two stage wins so far this year, he already beat his own record. After passing the first checkpoint in the lead, Genial de Villiers finished second of the stage. The South African is followed by a teammate, Saudi Arabia's Al Raji. He created a surprise, being the best rookie at the GC in fifth position. The overall classification is still led tonight by Nasser al but the Qatari was disadvantaged in opening the track. He lost four minutes to his first pursuer. In a mini context, it's quite bad, but in a Peugeot context, it's good enough. Carlos Sainz took the fourth place of the stage. Behind the wheel of this empty buggy, one of the best pilots in the world, who usually gets to ride other terrains, Francis Romain Dumas, two-time Le Mans 24 Hours winner, is living his first Dakar rally for a French charity, Messina Chirurgie Cardiaque. It's so abstract compared to what I'm used to. When I hear about sinuous bends, I don't know what that means. I don't know the distances. It's good not to make mistakes for the moment and try to get better as it goes. After three stages, he's currently 41st at the GC between two experienced pilots, Roby Gordon and Gerlain Chichrit. The two favorites are caught in a vice by two newcomers. Faulkner and Price confirmed their good run of form on the 220 kilometers of time sections of the day at the GC Coma narrows the gap with Bereda by one minute. In the cars, Terranova brings a new victory to the mini squad. Peugeot get better with Sainz in fourth of the stage and Peter Ansel seventh. Heading to Copiapo tomorrow for the fourth stage, Dakar competitors will cross the Chilean border with parts over 4,800 meters above sea level on the 900 kilometer long course. The mine tracks of the start will be left behind to meet the Atacama Desert Sand for the arrival of the 315 kilometers long special. And look out for the last 40 kilometers where danger will be permanent as the giant dudes of Copiapo can stuck the vehicles, especially those who will arrive after sunset.